actually not bad once it settles down. See what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I love that. I'm gonna love it more. I want the 2004s to come out now. Me and my friend Blake is like, I can't wait for the 2004s. Yeah. And it's like, you want amazing sound, just ride it to. And I haven't got a 2004 yet. No. Does he go in the bus and like, oh. like you do? Oh yeah, me and, me and him, you know, we're big fans. And the old trains too, me and him both love those. Oh, right on. What routes does he go on? Well, he works right, he takes transit to work every day, oh, so. Oh, okay. But if he has a day off, he does a 40 run and stuff. Oh, okay. He doesn't do routes like this. He does routes out of Vic a lot of the time. Oh, okay. Thank you. He's like, I found the uh, Northeast routes too compacted and busy, and he's right. You get a load about what 40, 50 students on that one trip at least. If you had an, uh, one of those new Novas, they have less seating, so they'd be standing. I think we'll get a green light without a train, maybe. Oh, remember before COVID train? You saw a train every three minutes sometimes. It was so busy. And these lights re these lights reset. So you're stuck here and it's just Now, when the 49 used to turn, yeah. it used to be horrible. Just furious, right? They have no patience. No. But hey, it's not the first time you've seen it. Oh no, the guy's stuck right behind the room 42. That's the issue. But I mean, he's got to wait too. He's got a time. Oh, I jinxed it. Now he's mad. <laughs> Mind you, the 42 stand with four way flashes on, so let people know he's sitting there. But. Well, then go around him. You can make it. It's a. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, the. And meets the newest train. That was so fast, I couldn't really see the numbers, but. No, I couldn't either. We saw 2007 the other day. Yeah, I thought I seen 2058, but I don't know. Yeah, I think it might have been in the middle. Yeah, I think so. I got footage of 2058 on both lines. That's what I try to do. If I got lots of footage of the cars on one line, I get the same car on the other line. That's my next path. Your least favorite, if I had to ask you. Oh, 17 being one of them. Yeah, and you know what they need to put the Anderson buses on? The busy rush hour routes. Sure. 
Like the 15 gets really busy when the students get out. Yeah. And they need more service. They run, or you put them on all day run and then the afternoon you get lots of students it's no problem or you know what you should they should put a bus 10 minutes ahead of you for example for that one busy trip yep. so you don't get crammed in with 60 people and that all at once have I read your bus now? At least 50. Oh, I... Lots. <laughs> and there's only one time where you got a different... where you got the same bus. That was 8304 two times in a row. Yeah. Well, there's only so many airport buses, though. Sometimes the back door doesn't work very well, though. I've no, seen this, some... This is, the handle's not yellow, so they don't think they realize the pressure. That's what's unique about these old buses, right? Yeah. Oh, it's pretty funny watching people. This is the smoothest series 17900 I've been on, I would have to say. Now the ones that just came out 05, 06, and 07 just came out like a month ago. The retarders were really tight because they've been sitting for a long time, right? And they just dipped past those three buses again. If that arena deal does go through, you're right, they're going to have to close Vic. Oh, sure. And then Anderson's going to have to open because what other garage do you have, right? They're not going to wait that long for another garage to be built. You need buses. And they should be... I'm glad they're thinking about AG though, that's a start. Oh, yeah. I've been saying it for the last two years now, even if ridership was down, you keep them open for change-offs at the very least. Oh, sure. <laughs> key, and he... he he hates the Arctic. He's like, do not give me an Arctic. Yeah. So they had to give him a bus out of spring, an Excelsior. Oh, okay. So I told him that's where Anderson comes in. Oh, yep. would hurt your ears. My caretakers have an app. I see that. <laughs> Maybe that's what I should have done on the 20 if I was get your, your coffee and I can go to sleep. I wouldn't you and me would probably just laugh and have fun. You're like me, I'm not functional early in the morning at all. I used to be, but not anymore. I'm like one of those old tired buses in the morning. Especially when you get to get up for travel, wake up at 3 in the morning and then go to the airport. Oh, 
I'll bring you two extra large coffee. Yeah, because Saturday I'm going to get up at 3 because I leave the garage and quarter to 4. So. You leave the garage at quarter to 4? No, I get, no, I leave no. the garage at 4.30 and we put her out at 4.30. Oh, because you got to be down at Chinook, I'm right? Be at Chinook at 5 o'clock. I don't think you've driven these on a weekend yet, right? These ones. No, I can always get the Excelsior on Saturday. Well, 43s, they never get dispatched very often, these buses here. No. Unless it's a rush hour run. Yeah. Because I know, I know there's a key where the bus does a couple of school runs, then does a few hours on the 43s. Yeah, 